so hi everyone welcome back to data science in your pocket and we have a huge release yesterday that is gpt 5.1 a smarter more conversational chat gpt has come in and the open ai team has upgraded gpt 5 model to gpt 5.1 which is more conversational more warm is able to follow instructions well giving you crisp outputs and a bit faster as well using lesser number of tokens also so let's try it out on chat gpt for free so as you can see on my screen at the top left this gpt 5.1 has become your default model now gpt 5.1 and then you can upgrade to chat gpt plus so let's try out the new model as they say there is a tone shift it is able to follow all the rules properly so let's test it out based on my history assign me six adjectives strictly so here what i'm doing i'm just asking it to assign me six let's see whether it is able to follow the instruction and give me don't output anything else as they say not just in terms of warmth and conversation as you can see it is able to give me just that output so if it would have been gpt5 at some of the times it was not able to follow the instructions correctly what the team has also mentioned about also it is saying that for simpler tasks the model just doesn't think it is able to give you direct outputs while in case of gpt5 it was thinking for everything which was not right and using a lot of tokens also what is 2 plus 2 so if you remember on gpt5 there used to be a thinking section that used to come here i think right now the traffic is a little high on G at gpt5.1 this new model has come in so that is why it might be a little slow apart from that the team has also mentioned that there are multiple things it is not overthinking now the explanations are more human as they say and the coding and there is a bump in coding and mathematical abilities as well let me try out so i think the model is facing some heavy traffic right now as it was released just yesterday two plus two it's four as you can see the speed was very fast for a simple question if it would have been something else it would have taken more time but in case of gpt5 it was taking thinking for everything even the baseline questions also as mentioned it is good at instruction following too it's emotionally intelligence but and it's subtle but real the outputs that are coming are not jargons let me ask it what is attention mechanism in machine learning let's see how it gives me the definition learning now if you read this if you read this particular section out it's very simple to understand there are no jargons getting used and it's not a textbook sort of a output that is coming out it's quite easy to understand it's giving an example and you can see no exam jargon so it is a more human like explanations that it is starting to output now which was not the case with gpt5 earlier so i think you saw a few examples i think you can try it out on your own also the model is free to use right now one key thing is that the model has become more warmer it's more conversational appearing like more human i think which was the key aspect of gpt5 also when it was released i think it's not a huge boost but once you start using it for day-to-day -day task i think you will see the difference so with this it's a wrap i hope you try out gpt 5.1 thank you so much